Hi guys, it's Erin from the Provincial Farmhouse. Thanks for joining me for another furniture painting tutorial. Today we're using IOD's paint inlay with Dixie Bell's Endless Shore Silk Mineral Paint. Thanks for joining me. Let's get started. For this project, you'll need a paintbrush, a mister, a sponge, and some scissors to cut out your paint inlay. First of all, you want to paint your base color and you want to make sure that you're happy with the coverage because sometimes when you're using paint inlays, the paint can actually come away. So you would really use this product for a vintage weathered look. I'm using IOD's Rose Chintz inlay. First, you want to work out how big you need your paper to be. It's best to actually lay it on the project. And then I actually just used my fingernails to crease where I would need to cut. The patterns are repeating, so keep this in mind when you're plotting out your design. You also need to cut out the borders around the paint inlay so that your repeating pattern will match up perfectly. Make sure you save all of your off cuts as you can definitely use those again in the future. Make sure that you have all of your paint inlays cut out and ready before you start the next step. Next, I'm painting another coat of my base colour. If you're working on a larger project, you really want to work in sections so that your paint doesn't dry too quick. You really need that paint to be wet before you put your inlays on top. Next, take your pre-cut paint inlays and carefully position them over the top of the wet paint. Try not to reposition too much as the paint will start to come off the inlay. Make sure that when you're placing your paint inlay down that the brighter side is the one that's going in contact with your paint. Carefully line up your repeating pattern with the pattern above. The grid lines can be a helpful tool during this step. Carefully smooth down your paint inlay. Next, you're going to take your mister with plain water and mist the design. You can also use a damp sponge to gently apply pressure to ensure that the paint inlays are making good contact with the damp paint. Make sure you're gentle during this step as you don't want to accidentally rip your inlay. Give your inlay some time to dry, but don't leave them on too long, as sometimes that can make the paper of the inlay stick to the design. You're going to lightly mist the inlays again. This will help the paper to release. You can also use a damp sponge to apply a bit more water and pressure. When your inlays are damp again, you're going to very carefully start to peel away the design. You want to be gentle and work slowly so that you don't rip the paper. If you find that an area is sticking, lightly mist the area and it will come away. Find somewhere that your paint inlays can dry paint side up, laying flat so that you can use them again in the future. As you're pulling the design away, you'll find that some of your base colour paint may come away with the paint inlay. Keep this in mind when you're using them on future projects.
If you find there are gaps in the pigment where your design joins, you can use your finger or a little artist brush to gently blend the still damp paint together. And here's the finished product. You'll find that some areas are brighter than others, some areas are faded, but that's the beauty of paint inlays. It gives quite an authentic aged look. When it comes time to seal your piece, it's best to spray on. You can use a watered down clear coat, but I used easy peasy spray wax for mine. Sometimes you can accidentally reactivate the paint in the paint inlay, so it's best to be gentle if you're using a brush. Here's a look at what the whole project looked like when I was finished. I hope that you'll give IOD's paint inlays a go. You can head to our website for the IOD products used in this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Let me know what you thought of this project. Thanks for watching.